In the journey of ISRO, it has grew to a state of self-reliance in rocket technology and space missions. After the many successful missions I mentioned in my previous video, ISRO is planning for a human space flight program. The mission was proposed to Indian government back in 2006 and it has still not received the approval mainly because of the cost of the program. The expected launch of ISRO's manned mission was in 2017 but now it is extended for the next decade up to 2021. Another reason is ISRO doesn't have technology to launch a manned mission but it is very much part of ISRO's future programs. Though the program has not received the approval but ISRO is working to develop the critical technology needed for the mission. So let's go through the details of the ISRO's manned mission. The mission objective of the manned mission program is to develop the fully autonomous orbital vehicle spaceship which will carry a crew of three people. The mission duration can be orbiting around the earth for a few orbits up to two days and then safely return back to earth. The space capsule will have life control and environment control systems. It will be equipped with emergency mission abort and emergency escape that can be done at the first and the second stage of the rocket. It will be also equipped with rendezvous and docking capability in order to dock at the International Space Station considering the future collaboration with the USA, Russia or maybe China. The space capsule will have a main engine and smaller orientation engines arranged in a light package around the base, which will give Earth orbit maneuvering capability. The astronauts trained for the mission will be called as Vyomanauts, which is a Sanskrit word, in which Vyoman means Akash or Sky. ISRO will set up a full-fledged training facility in Bangalore for training Vyomanauts. The crew vehicle will be launched on the GSLV MK3 which will be equipped with cryogenic engine. Last year in 2015, ISRO had successfully tested the re-entry care module with the help of GSLV MK3. Yet the GSLV MK3 is not fully developed as the manned mission are required to carry more payloads but for this to happen the cryogenic stage of MK3 needs to be fully operational. The high thrust cryogenic engine which will be used for launching 3 ton class payloads successfully test fired at ISRO propulsion complex at Mahindrakiri and will be in the service by the end of 2016. As a part of the pre-project activities, ISRO is focusing on development of critical technologies for subsystems such as crew module, environmental control, life support system, crew escape system, and so on. The trials for the manned space mission has already begun with 600 kg space capsule recovery experiment. It was launched using the PSLV rocket and safely returned to Earth after 12 days, splashing down in the Bay of Bengal and recovered by Indian Coast Guard and Indian Navy. For execution of the mission, ISRO is not at all in hurry. This mission is not in the priority list of ISRO, but they are still developing the technology needed for the manned mission, which will make ISRO ready for human space flight in the beginning of next decade.